I'm Dante Greco. And I'm Evie Matavelli. And we're here at the 13th Annual World Choreography Awards at the Avalon in Hollywood. we got a lot of great interviews coming up, so stay tuned and make sure to follow Bionic Bug on YouTube and all socials. Thank you very much. We'll see you on the carpet. Follow us. Thank you. Abigail Chung, so you're here tonight nominated. Um, what's what's like your like one of your favorite memories of your career so far? Honestly, I am newly immigrated to the States for dance, so this really goes down in for the books for being nominated for this event. That's huge. Yeah, you're already at the World Choreography Awards. Yeah, yeah. no, it's a huge honor, and the all everyone nominated tonight is just um, has always been people that I've looked up to, and now that I get to stand alongside them is um, inspiring and really honoring. Great. Good luck tonight. I hope you get it. Thank you so much. Alex Magno. I'm Jennifer Olsberg. So what brings you to the 13th Annual World Choreography Awards tonight? Well, I'm here to celebrate all of the nominees, the amazing dancers, uh, the amazing choreographer artists. Uh, it's been an honor to be part of the judging panel. And you know, this is the 13th year celebration. I, I'm also a nominee, a uh, nominated choreographer as well. So it's great. I'm looking forward to seeing an amazing night. I'm just with him. <laughs> did, did you get to vote on your own category? Uh, no, I didn't. I did. We can't do that. We have to vote on other other categories. You know. Now, when when you're a nominee and a judge, does it? How does it affect your judging process for the other nominees? Because you know what they're going through. Well, it's because you went through, so you kind of know what to expect. It. So, but I think they, everybody that they ask to come to be a judge, it's people that are like in the business for a long time and people that understand uh, all different type of uh, categories, of styles, and people that don't have a really, um, they just appreciate everybody. There's, a, there's only love, you know, and respect for the, for the craft of the choreography, you know? I love that. Well, what are you most looking forward to tonight? Any performance, anything like that? I'm looking to celebrate Kenny Ortega Honorary. I mean, I had the privilege to work with him as a dancer in many occasions, so I'm here to also celebrate his night, so. I love it. Well, if people want to find you, where should they go? AlexMagno.com. Alexander Chung. Alexander, what brings you to the World Choreography Award? So I'm nominated for choreographing uh, a, mu a music video that is nominated for best choreography in uh, music videos, yes. That was very repetitive. <laughs> well, what's the video? Uh, Torin Wells' Fake It. I'm the choreographer of that music video, yeah. Uh, what style of dance is that? It's like commercial hip hop choreography, yeah. What what uh, what's your favorite song to listen to that inspires you when you're coming up with new moves? Oh, favorite song. I don't I don't have a favorite song right now. There's a lot of a lot of songs that are inspiring me, yeah. But it's actually exciting too. I don't know if you want to include it, but my sister is also nominated as well. I'm yeah, sure. Let's bring her in. Let's bring her in. So yeah, I'm 30, she's 23, and we're both nominated, which is really cool. Yeah, for, siblings. For different projects. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so awesome. Is there any sibling rivalry at all? Honestly, there's eight years apart, so I would say no. Very minimal, very <laughs> minimal. Maybe yeah. like 2%, somewhere in there. Yeah. yeah. Were you inspired by him to start a, a career in a choreography? Um, yeah, I definitely feel like with while it's in the family, it was easier to kind of see. But actually, I started dancing first before him. She did, yeah, I went to, <laughs> she was three years old, I went to her show, my mom dragged me there, and then I ended up dancing from watching her. So so you're both nominated tonight? Yeah. yeah. Listen, I wish you both the best of luck. I don't want to see a one and one, or you know, I hope you both win. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, if people want to find out more about you, where should they go? Go for it, ladies first. Um, yeah, you can find me on Instagram or IMDB, Abby underscore Chung. Yeah, you can find me on Instagram, YouTube, anything, just Alexander Chung. Alexis War. Alexis, so what brings you to the World Choreography Awards tonight? Well, I will be dancing in the show. I will be doing uh, part of a tribute dance for Kenny. I'll be doing Baby by Dirty Dancing. And we'll also be presenting an award tonight. Awesome. So what's your personal style of dance, like your favorite? Well, I grew up as a cross-trained dancer, but I specialize more in ballroom and contemporary. But I love doing like the industry stuff, which you know Kenny is an icon for, and so it's just a thrill to be here and you know doing a representation for him. 
That's awesome. Uh, have you met him before? Have you had the, the, the chance, or uh, would you like to right now? I mean, he's right here. Hello. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, no, I've been a big fan of Kenny. We've met in passing and also met on the carpet a couple of minutes ago, did our formal introductions, but hopefully we can see each other more in the future. Awesome. Well, if people want to find out more about you or follow you, where should they go? Instagram, at Alexis underscore war, that's W-A-R-R. Also that on TikTok, and yeah. Hi guys, it's me, actress Amber Martinez. Hi Steven, great channel. <laughs> so what brings you to the World Choreography Awards? Oh my gosh, I'm here, I was invited as a special guest. I'm so excited because actually I used to be a professional dancer uh, for the first 19 years of my life before I focused more on acting. Um, so dance is a great passion of mine and I love uh, professional choreographers. I'm really excited about seeing um, Derek and Julianne Hose singing in the rain. I'm rooting for them and I'm also rooting for Disenchanted because I love that show. It's so funny. <laughs> uh, what was your style of dance? Oh my gosh, so I actually did ballet, top, jazz, lyrical, and Irish step dancing. <laughs> Yeah. But you could still get up there if you wanted to. I could, yeah. I also do ballroom, but that wasn't a professional one. That was just for fun. Well, is there anything you're working on coming up that you'd like to tell us about otherwise? Uh, exact, yeah, guys, for sure. So go on to my IMDb at imdb.me forward slash Amber Martinez, and you can see my latest movies coming out, um, my movie that is currently out right now, and my, TV, my two TV shows that are currently out right now. I wish I could tell you the names live on air, but we're still striking, so go to imdb.me forward slash Amber Martinez, and you guys can see them and watch them. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you. Have a great night. Thanks, guys. Bye, Bionic Buzz. So, how does it feel to be here? I know you were honored last year, right? I was on. I think it was a few years before that, but I'm so honored to be back every year. I'm just so happy and so proud of what Alan Walls has done. It's great. It's great. Yeah, this is such a wonderful community, and and obviously we're honoring Kenny Ortega for the Legacy Award today. How 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 wonderful is that? I, there's no one like Kenny Ortega in my book. I mean, he is, without a doubt, the kindest, most talented. He's an icon, and I mean, I'm honored that he and I kind of grew up in the industry together, but I'm so proud to be his friend, and I'm excited he's being honored. And tell us about your show. You have a show in Vegas. I do have a show in Vegas. I just asked Chris Judd if he would come and choreograph another number. Yeah, because uh, it's, he did, it's 25 years. The show's next year is running 25 years. And he choreographed how long ago? That was 2005. And we're still running and I'm so proud of the dancers. They win like the best dancers every year and they work hard and he's done an amazing job and I'm praying I can get him back. Oh, I thank you. I would love to come back. It would be amazing. It's so fun. So tell people where they can find your show, what the name of it is. It's Fantasy and it's at the Luxor and it's um, every night at 10.30 and Sundays at 8 and 10.30. And come, we're gonna have a party. This whole year is a party. It's the 25th anniversary party. Ava Bernstein Mitchell. So what brings you to the World Choreography Awards? I am nominated tonight for Motion Picture, uh, Associate Choreographer for Spirited. Yeah. Oh, awesome, so that was the, the comedy. Yes, the dancing musical comedy, it was incredible. What, were, what section of the choreography were you responsible for? I mean, the whole thing. It was really collaborative. Myself, Chloe Arnold, and Martha Nichols, uh, we choreographed it together. And I mean, anything, anytime you see movement, we were all a part of it. So, yeah. And what's your favorite style of dance? Um, my favorite, I would say, is jazz and hip hop. Yeah. Well, if people want to find out more about you, where should they go? Uh, they should go to Instagram. I am AvaFlav1. And yeah, I'm on Facebook. That's about it. Yeah. Bar. Bar Ansys. So Bar, what brings you to the World Choreography Awards tonight? I'm with MSA Agency, so I'm here representing. Awesome. So are, what's your style of dance? Um, mainly commercial, hip-hop, Afrobeats, dancehall, jazz funk, everything that makes my soul feel alive. How, long, how, how old were you when you started? Um, really, really young, but honestly, when I decided to take it to like the professional level, that was when I was 23. So yeah, I moved here a year ago, a year and a half ago. Yeah. And here you are already. That's awesome. Yeah, we're here, blessed, grateful in this beautiful event. 
Well, if people want to find out more about you or follow you online, where should they go? Uh, Instagram, bar ANSYS, B-A-H-R underscore A-N-C-I-S. And I also made my outfit today, so. Sick. Thank you. Thank you so much. Beautiful. Thank you. Have a great night. And you too. Thank you. So we're honoring Kenny Ortega tonight. How are you feeling? Oh my goodness, I would not have missed this event. Kenny Ortega basically started my career. My first big job as a professional dancer was High School Musical and all three of the High School Musicals. So Kenny and I, our relationship runs deep and I'm really just so grateful for everything that he's done for my career. And so I am thrilled to be here in his honor. Well, and obviously you've gone on to Dancing with the Stars and we love you. So how has this season been for you? This season has been great. I was paired with Adrian Peterson, pro football player. Um, we got eliminated week four, which no one wants to get eliminated. You want to go all the way to the end. But really, I'm so, I'm so proud of the progress that he made in the ballroom. And of course, now I am the ultimate Dancing with the Stars fan. I'm still dancing every single week and cheering on my fellow pro pros. Well, you've added so much to the show and we love you so much. Are there any um, projects, other projects that you're working on that you're able to talk about? Thank you so much. Yes, I am. So I have a nonprofit organization called Share the Movement and really our mission is to increase diversity in the professional dance industry. And really that's so important to me. Accessibility, diversity is something that's really close to my heart. For myself, I'm the first black female pro on Dancing with the Stars, and still the only, and I want that to change. I want to continue to increase diversity and embrace representation, and um, and so that is where I put my efforts outside of the show, and hopefully much more to come. I love it. Where can people find you on social media? Yes, on Instagram. Actually, all my, all my social media handles are Britt Benet, B-R-I-T-T-B-E-N-A-E. So first of all, congratulations on being a nominee. Tell us what category? Uh, category is best choreography in a music video. All right, so tell us a little bit about the video, your inspiration, all that. Yeah, so uh, my good friend Derek Huff uh, was directing the video and he asked me to uh, be one of the choreographers of the video. And I uh, was extremely honored, extremely excited and uh, worked with Michael Buble, uh, his video called Higher. Um, title track to his album, worked with amazing other choreographers, it was a great collaboration and uh, yeah, it was such an honor, it was a lot of fun. When you're coming up with choreography, do you start from your body or from your mind? Like, do you imagine it? First of all, I love that question, absolutely, uh, my mind for sure. I want to envision it, I want to see it, um, I honestly put pen to paper whenever it comes to like formations or even if it's just me like and brushing my teeth or anything, my brain's constantly going, so yeah. Did you prepare a speech for tonight? Absolutely not. Nope. So I'm just going to enjoy the moment and enjoy the other nominees. So, yeah. Last question. Do you have an alter ego named Jacob Elordi? That is so funny because I've gotten that so many times. Like, all of my friends compared me to him. Nate from Euphoria, right? Yeah. And didn't you just star as Elvis in the movie Priscilla? You know what? I wish. I can, I, I can, I can, uh, I'll take that. Yeah, absolutely. Honestly, though, congratulations. Good luck tonight. I think you're going to get it. Thank you. I appreciate you, man. Thank you. Oh, and if people want to find you or follow you online, where should they go? Yeah, uh, Chase Haley Bowden, my full name. That's it. Chloe Arnold. Chloe Arnold, what brings you to the World Choreography Awards? Well, I'm so thankful to be nominated for Best Choreography for Movie Musical, the movie Spirited, starring Will Ferrell and Ryan Reynolds and Octavia Spencer. How was it doing choreography for a comedy? Oh my goodness, we had a blast. Honestly, it's like the ideal situation because you get to do dance in a way that's so fulfilling, but that you get to enjoy the day-to-day -day process. So those guys get to improv many of their moves? So the interesting thing is improv is like innate within the comedy space, but I will say that they really studied their dancing, took it very seriously, and there are no dance doubles. Everything they did is they themselves fulfilling the moves. So they could go on tour right now as backup dancers. I mean, ultimately, look, you see Will Ferrell going viral all the time, okay? And Ryan Reynolds is just the ultimate superhero on and off the dance floor. Well, listen, congratulations, uh, good luck. And if people want to find out more about you, where should they go? 
Well, if you'd like to keep up, please follow me at Chloe Arnold Taps on Instagram. My name is Christian Vincent. You're nominated tonight in what category? I'm nominated in the scripted category for television for a show called The Porter. Can you tell us a little bit about that? The Porter uh, was set in the 1920s. It's about railway workers in the 1920s, black railway workers that were working for equality and unionization. So it deals with dance of that era, which was the beginning of jazz, beginning of tap. Um, and it's actually the foundation of basically what we all do now. So it was an honor to work on it. Love that, that's so wonderful. And are you working on any other projects that you can talk about? I do have a project. Uh, I work also as an actor, but um, there's a project, a show called Noah's Ark, that I'm one of the leads in that I also choreographed in the next project, but I can't divulge when it's going to be coming out, but it will be coming out soon. Love it. And uh, where can we find you on social media? Christian.jd.vincent on Instagram or CJDEVI on Twitter. Christina Sturgeon. Christina, so what brings you to the World Choreography Awards? So commercial I was in was nominated. Uh, Applebee's commercial choreographed by Brian Friedman, and I'm an actress and dancer in it. Wow, so how long have you been in the industry? I've been in the industry for a, a while, since I was a little girl, 10 years. What, did you, uh, what style did you start with? Jazz and hip hop, yeah. But I do kind of whatever the job entails, really. Do you play any instruments? Like, do you find that that would help, or do you eschew that? I mean, my body is the instrument, right? <laughs> I would say acting and dancing, I like to blend the two, you know? Well, uh, is there anything, I mean, tonight's going to be huge, of course, but is there anything coming up, projects that you're working on you could tell us about? I'm actually producing a slate of Fox movies, so I'm really excited about that, diving in on the other side, and I've got an exciting acting project coming up as well that I can't talk about right now. Well, if people want to follow you or find out more about you, where should they go? Um, you can follow me on Instagram. It's at Christina Sturgeon. We love your Oh, thank you so much. I just wanted to go crazy and bold and wild, you know. And, uh, tell the audience your name. My name is Chucky Claypow. I choreographed High School Musical with Kenny Ortega and Bonnie Story years ago. All the High School Musical films, we did it together. Kenny taught me everything I know. He taught me about the art of choreography, how to choreograph for the camera, how you don't just do movement for movement's sake. Everything has to have a reason. He taught me so much, and it's so cool to be here to honor him tonight. And are there any projects that you can talk about right now? I'm, I'm just excited to be doing what I'm doing. I just came back from New York. I was working with the Rolling Stones. They just launched their new album, Hagney Diamonds. It's incredible. It's their best album in decades. And it's just cool to be around them during such a creative time in their life. So yeah, there's always exciting stuff going on. It's all because of Kenny. We all owe it to Kenny. He started our careers. I love that. I love that. And where can we find you on social media? At Chucky Claypow. C H U C K Y K L A P O W, just my name. On Instagram. Well, thank you so much. Effie Tutko. So, what brings you to the World Choreography Awards tonight? Um, my fiance, Chase Bowden, is nominated in the Music Video Choreography Awards for Michael Bublé's music video, Higher. That's so cool. Did you get to go to the set or anything like that? Unfortunately, I was working um, in Vegas at the time, but was there throughout all the rehearsal and like prep for the music video, and I was like a month long of hard work. <laughs> so being engaged to a choreographer, do you guys ever go out to like a bar or a club and then just start dancing and like blowing everybody's mind? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Yes, all the time. <laughs> What's your favorite style or moves that you guys will break out? Um, together we love to do like a little salsa, a little ballroom, you know, that kind of vibe. <laughs> That's cool. So he probably practices stuff. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, you must be a little nervous for him being a nominee, right? Are you going to be there to console? Are you going to have any ideas for a speech? He said he didn't write a speech. Um, yes, he's definitely like in the moment going to say what he's going to say if we hopefully do win. But we were talking beforehand and honestly I'm just so proud because of all the hard work that went into this and I know like watching the music video it's truly like his art like meshed with like Derek and Philip and Mackenzie and it's just that's what we're really proud of and like being nominated is such a huge honor that who cares what the outcome is it's just an honor to be here. 
That's awesome. Well, if people want to find out more about you or follow you, where should they go? Um, my Instagram is Effie Tutko, um, just that, and TikTok's Effie Tutko as well, and that's pretty much it. Right. Good luck tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I'm Ezra Sosa. So what brings you to the World Choreography Awards tonight? Um, they asked me to honor Kenny. Um, we, I'm with my partner Alexis. We are recreating Dirty Dancing for him. So um, how long have you worked in the industry and what got you started? I was honestly seven years old. Uh, my first major job was when I was 13. It was for a Netflix film, um, Dear Dumb Diary. But what got me started was my sister. She's also here tonight. She loves dance and I just love being with her. How far do you go back with Kenny? I've never met him before, so I better make a good first impression. Yeah, you better. But he's a big time guy. Do you have a favorite film of his or anything like that? High School Musical. Uh, I grew up in Utah, so a lot of people that I know and love so much are from that show, so it's, it holds a close place in my heart. Was well, there anything you're looking forward to tonight in particular after you're done? After I'm done, probably go to bed. Like, it sounds so bad, but I'm so exhausted right now. It's a Sunday. It's a Sunday, and I should be in bed. Well, if people want to find out more about you or follow you online, where should they go? Um, Instagram, Ezra Sosa, E-Z-R-A-S-O-S-A. Thank you, Ezra. How are you doing tonight? I'm amazing. How are you? So what brings you to the World Choreography Awards? Well, I've been waiting to come for years. I'm just so excited to be able to attend this year. I'm a dancer, so yeah. Who was the first dancer that caught your attention and kind of got the ball rolling for you? Ooh. Um, I would say some of the first people are like Misha Gabriel, Rhapsody James. Oh my gosh, there's so many people. Oh, yeah, those are a few, but there's so many. What would you say is your favorite style of dance? Probably hip hop, just because you can do so many things with it, and there's so many different styles of hip hop, but I love all styles, I do all styles, so yeah. Well, what are you looking forward to most tonight? Uh, I just can't wait to see all of the nominees. I've dreamed with working for a few, so I just can't, and I can't wait to see the pieces that are going to be taking place too. Awesome. Where can people find you? Uh, you can find me on all social media platforms at G E M M A dot A S F O U R. Thank you. Have a great night. You too. Thank you. Jazz Ray Cole from Lincoln Lawyer. And Doug Baum with uh, Ballet Magique. So, what brings you two to the World Choreography Awards tonight? Well, uh, I'm rehearsal director and assistant choreographer for a piece that he is in. He's amazing in it um, by Anthony Wayne Johnson from Ballet Magique. So that's why we're here tonight. Yeah, I'm here to perform. He's here to kick some ass. That's what he's here for. <laughs> <laughs> that I will. Yeah, I plan on that. So what's your favorite style of dance? Oh, contemporary. It used to be ballet, but I think the older that I've gotten, it's contemporary for sure. You know what? I'm going to second that. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I have a lot of ballet, but uh, yeah, uh -huh. contemporary is more like yeah. the zhuzh. When you're a dancer, you got to have a very, like, you know, disciplined body and, you know, be in shape. But do you have cheat days and do you go crazy on those cheat days? Well, I don't dance anymore, so I think every day is almost a cheat day. <laughs> Wish I could say the same. Um, but, yeah, you have to spread them out. you got to spread the cheat days out. You can choose your battles, if you yeah, will. Yeah, yeah. Everything in moderation. <laughs> well, listen, good luck tonight. I know you put a lot of work in, I'm sure. Yeah, we have. It's gonna be good. Yeah, there's been a lot of hard work put into it, so we're looking to forward to yeah, yeah, <laughs> to finally uh, doing it. Yeah, performing. Well, if people want to find out more about you or follow you online, where should they go? At J Ray Cole on Instagram, and please watch season three of Lincoln Lawyer on Netflix. Absolutely. <laughs> and uh, my handles at Doug Bomb D O O G B A Yeah Doug <laughs> Doug, but I go by Doug. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So much. Thank you. Great it. to meet you. Thank you so much. So here we are with Joe. Thank you so much for your patience. Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, tell us you're nominated tonight. Tell us so what category. I am nominated for choreography and commercials. I choreographed the Panasonic commercial this year, so I'm super excited to be here. Yeah. So what's it like doing a commercial? Um, absolute madness, but it's super fun. I, I do my best to make sure that the dancers and the whole crew and the whole set is having a good time because it's entertainment, lest we forget. And so what we managed to accomplish was because of that. Have fun, and then the rest will come. Love that. And um, are you working on any other projects you can talk about right now? You know what? I cannot talk about these projects yet, but a lot is in store in the next few months. So 
Yeah. And where can people find you on social media? They can find me at Joe underscore Brown 101 on Instagram. And now your boy's on TikTok. So check me out. Yeah. Well, have fun tonight. And thank you, Joe. So Appreciate it. Thanks. Hi, I'm John Hagenbotham, a choreographer. So, John. What brings you to the World Choreography Awards tonight? I got nominated for my work on The Umbrella Academy Season 3. That's huge. Congratulations. Hey, thank you. Thanks. How much? I mean, you did choreography for a whole season. Yeah, well, for me, just one episode called yeah. Meet the Family. I was going to say, that sounds very difficult. To, like, have, you, have you ever had to do that, like a long-term season where you come up with choreography? Well, I, I direct a dance company in New York, so that is like a very, very long, wonderful season, but not in this kind of a context. Yeah. How do you keep creative and keep coming up with like new and interesting and exciting moves? Oh my God, there's inspiration everywhere. I mean, there's inspiration in this red carpet line right now. The way it operates, the speed it moves at, how people take poses, how they relax, all of that is part, is part of the inspiration. So you're always watching, always looking for movement that you can maybe incorporate. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. You're like Jerry Seinfeld in that way. He's always listening and looking for what he can turn into a joke. Yeah, that, that's the joy, is like making those discoveries and listening or looking. Yeah. Well, listen, congratulations. And if people want to find out more about you or follow you, where should they go online? Go to dancehagenbotham.org. Yeah, thanks, Dante. Appreciate it. Good luck. Thank you. I'm Joy Akazi. Joy, so uh, what brings you to the World Choreography Award? Well, it's my favorite event of the year, and it's such a wonderful place to come and see all the work that everyone's been creating, and is finally we're finally getting recognized for it. So I'm really excited to be here and to celebrate everyone, especially Kenny Ortega and the phenomenal work he's done over the years. So what style of dance do you specialize in? My specialty is Indian classical and commercial Bollywood, and um, I was really lucky to be able to perform here two years ago. I've had work nominated here, and just being, a, you know, rubbing shoulders with these choreographers and truly legends and creatives is such a wonderful experience. I think for me, being able to find a place for myself where I can truly be myself as an Indian and an American creative, and to be accepted into this community means so much, and I'm really excited to be here tonight. Amazing. And do you find that there is more of that nowadays? Yeah, absolutely. I feel like the world has become, in a way, smaller, especially with social media. We're exposed to so many more cultures and people and walks of life. And the entertainment in industry has really opened up doors for people from all different lifestyles and, and dance forms. So uh, I recently worked on Netflix's Never Have I Ever and just did Sweetie's music video, uh, Shot O'Clock. And I feel like these are projects where you would have never thought that you would see Indian classical or Bollywood forms, but there's definitely space for it and people are thinking of us. So it's really great to see that. Awesome. Well, if people want to find out uh, more about you, where should they go? Yeah, they can go to my website, joyakazi.com, and I'm also on Instagram, Facebook, so TikTok, everything, at joyakazi. Up, I'm Kai Martinez. Kai, what brings you to the World Choreography Award? Well, I am nominated today with uh, Jamal Sims for Encanto at the Hollywood Bowl. Hey, so what, are you a choreographer? Or are you I'm an associate choreographer. I am a choreographer, and um, yeah, it was... It was an amazing experience, and to be able to celebrate it today is an honor. What got you started? Well, I'm a street. I'm from New York. I'm a street dancer from New York, and to be able to uh, continue pursuing my passion and to now be here today is a dream come true. Um, is there like a specific style of dance that you want to try to learn coming up in the future? Like anything you want to try to master? In the future, I mean. You know, I guess technique. I come from a, I'm Latina, I'm Colombian. I come from a hip hop dance background. So learning technique is, sure, that would be great. I also have our uh, another uh, assistant choreographer with, uh, with me here. Okay. We'll have to send her over after you. Yeah, yeah, he's right here. <laughs> oh, he's right here. Oh, okay, great, awesome. How are you doing, what's your name? I'm Asiel Hardison, I'm doing great. Awesome, so uh, you guys are here together tonight. I'm here yes. supporting her and yes. our team, actually, our team. for the work that we did on Encanto. Yes, we, yeah. had, we worked on the film and at the Hollywood Bowl, so it's an honor. Yes. The gift that keeps on giving. Yes. <laughs> well, listen, I wish you guys the best of luck. If people want to find out more about you, where should they go? 
Go on Instagram, Instagram. at K-A-I underscore Martinez underscore underscore. At Asiel Hardison, A-S-I-E-L-H-A-R-D-I-S-O-N. Yes. Good luck. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, babe. I'm excited to have you here, Mr. Ortega. So tell us, how does it feel to be getting this Legacy Award? Well, I'm just elated and, and uh, touched deeply and never expecting nights or moments like this. Just so grateful to be a part of this wonderful community, to still be able to do what it is that I love, which is to choreograph and, and, and to direct. And uh, just looking forward to seeing all my friends and thrilled that we finally have a Choreographers Guild, a historical new move forward for choreographers and our future. So it's a really special night. It is a special night. And, and you have such an illustrious career. Thank you. Uh, I personally worked at Disney, so was there when High School Musical premiered. But obviously, Michael Jack, there's just so many. Do you have, like, it's so hard to pick, I'm sure, but what are some of a moment that you just love from your career? Chucky, 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 come here. No, we were just being asked. She works at Disney, oh, cool. and I was being asked if there was a moment in my career that was really, really special. And I would say meeting Chucky Claypow, who became my partner throughout all of High School Musical 1, 2, and 3. Cheetah Girls, what else did we do together? This is it. This is it. Michael yeah. Jackson's This Is It. Working with so individuals much. like Chucky <laughs> keep me inspired and on my toes and enjoying the work. I'm just one of many who whose careers was kick-started because of this man right here. He started so many people's careers. We're all so thankful. You're responsible for this whole industry, doing what it's doing today. So we're just, it's an honor to be here, honoring you. Thank you, Chuck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And um, any projects you can talk about, or can people follow you on social media? I'm working hard. I'm still doing what it is that I love, and I have lots of things in development, and hopefully we're going to have some new works coming out early next year. Thank you so Thank much, you. Mr. Ortega. Thank you so much. It's an honor to meet you. Thank you. How are you doing, London? I'm Dante with Bionic Buzz. Nice to meet you. Hi, it's Dante. Nice to meet you. So what brings you to the World Choreography Award? Well, Alan and Cheryl invited me out tonight. I'm super excited to be here and look at all the dancers and get inspired for some projects I'm working on for myself. Music videos, I have a show in uh, San Francisco, December 9th, opening up for Beauty School Dropout. So it's gonna be so amazing. Now, are you a dancer or act? Are you a triple threat? Yeah, I, I dance, I act, I sing, yeah. That's awesome, who's your, uh, who, who's your inspiration? Hmm, I would say myself. <laughs> uh, yeah, I would say myself first. Uh, as far as dancing, it would definitely be Michael Jackson, performing Tina Turner, Beyonce, Lizzo. Now, if people want to find out more about Beauty School Dropout and more about you and all that, uh, where should they go? Yes, yeah, so for me, all of my socials are going to be at L-O-N-D-O-N-G-D-D-S, London, the goddess of rock and roll. December 9th, it's going to be so amazing. I'm so hyped. Listen, enjoy the evening, okay? Thank you. Thanks, guys. Marika Sutherland. Hello, Marika. So what brings you to the 13th Annual World Choreography Awards? Well, I am, of course, here to support Alan, the producer of the show, but I also like to come out to network a little bit because I am a costume designer, and a lot of my clients are here tonight because I make costumes for the dancers and performers. Is there anything different or more challenging about making costumes for dancers as opposed to just actors? Absolutely. So for when we make costumes for dancers, we have to bear in mind what the dancer do, what are the movement, and how many shows are they doing, and how many changes. So it's very uh, common that, for example, if we do a show, they have the same costume. We make it maybe like five, six of them actually when you go on tour so little little tricks like that what's one of your favorite shows or performers that you've done costumes for oh my god uh, I love doing it for a, a rock opera Mephisto uh, that was fun um, yeah the rock operas are, are a lot of fun to make costumes for awesome well if people want to follow you or find out more about you where should they go yeah, you can follow me on Instagram. So that would be uh, Kika, K-I-C-K-A, -A, custom, like something is custom made. So Kika Custom on Instagram. Marissa Hart. 
Hi Marissa, so what brings you to the Choreography Awards? Um, I'm nominated for digital content, which I'm so excited about. Tell me a little bit about a digital content nomination. Um, so it's all about basically getting your work, making it visual on online platforms where you're hired to put your piece of work to either specific music in specific locations. Um, so I got hired to choreograph for Alexa, her song Wonderland. Um, so I got to bring together some of my best dancers and create a whole visual on it, which was super magical. Is there any CGI involved or is it all natural? Uh, all natural, no CGI. What style of dance? Uh, heels. heels. What, what's heels? Uh, heels is all about confidence, woman empowerment, strong lines, technique. Um, I teach from beginner level all the way to advanced, so it's just all about loving yourself, uh, being really confident, and being really powerful. It's huge. Well, listen, if people want to find out more about you, where should they go? Uh, Marissa Hart is my tag for everything. I'm Marissa Hart. Thank you. So Good luck. Thank you. Thank you, Dante. I'm Monica Felice Smith. Hi, Monica. So, what brings you to the World Choreography Awards? I am nominated today for Best, Choreogra uh, Best Choreography in a Music Video for Panic at the Disco, Sad Clown. Wow. What was it like collaborating with those guys? Oh my god, okay, so Brendan Urie is amazing. He can do practically anything, and he was like, just let me know if I look silly, and then I won't do it, but I'm just gonna go for it, whatever you tell me to do, and I'll do it. And so, it was, uh, he made the process really, really easy. That's awesome. Now, I've asked this to other choreographers. Do you start from the body or do you start from the mind when you're coming up with the move? Well, for me, I like to make sure that my like my work also coincides with the concept and the treatment and the idea behind it because everybody is in it kind of to create this idea together. And that's like number one for me. And then I think of how I can bring my voice into it choreographically and make it feel like mine, but also while carrying out this vision that everybody has together. So, yeah, that's kind of uh, well, What's your personal favorite style of dance? Ooh, uh, I enjoy everything, but for me, I like to create this like contemporary sort of like fusion of commercial and contemporary put together. Yeah. Well, is there anything else coming up that you're working on that you'd like to tell us about? Uh, I'm working on a music video for Hozier coming up. I'm working on that this week and a uh, couple other things, hopefully some feature films down the pipeline, but um, yeah, that's it. Awesome. Well, if people want to find out more about you, where should they go? Uh, they can go to my Instagram. It's Monica, M-O-N-I-K-A, Felice Smith. Um, and I also have a website, MonicaFeliceSmith.com, and I have all of my work there. And yeah. Congratulations. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hello, Mila. How are you doing tonight? And how excited are you to be here at the 13th Annual World Choreography Awards? Hi, guys. I'm very excited to be here tonight. And I'm doing great. Super excited to see all of the best talents dancers tonight. Now, do you do much dancing yourself? I actually grew up dancing. I used to dance national Ukrainian dance for eight years back in Ukraine. Because, uh, yeah, that, that's super fun. I love dancing. So you're at the right place tonight, then? Yes, for sure. I'm super excited. Tell us what's coming up next for you career-wise. I just shot a magazine, cover magazine, yesterday. That's going to be out, I think, in two weeks. And recently I was in a short film that it's coming out soon, too. So I'm very excited about it. Okay, well, if people want to find you, where should they follow? Instagram will be the best way. It's M-Y-L-A-T-K-A-C-H-E-N-K-O. Thank you very much. Have a great night. Is that you? Okay, I'm Dante Gregor with Bionic Buzz. Lovely to meet you. Um, I'm a film director now. Uh, I'm not a huge deal. Trust me. Is there anything you're looking forward to tonight? Oh my God, the whole evening. Are you kidding me? If I have to see any of the hip hop artists, like I was raised, I'm 67 years old. If I have to see any of the new modern dancers who I adore on social media, I'm going to die and go to heaven right now. All you need is love. All right, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm Have a great night. It's okay. Nobody. I was when I was a ballerina. I was a tree stump in the back row. Rhapsody James. So, what brings you to the World Choreography Awards? I am a nominee this this year for uh, TV Episodic Best Choreography and TV Episodic. Congratulations. Uh, what style? What style of dance? Um, pretty much hip hop, commercial dance, stepping. It's a step dance. What inspires you when you come up with different and new movements? Oh, 
It's always the music, but a lot of the time, since it's TV episodic, it's really the story. I really like relating the story with the moves and bringing everything to life. So yeah. Did the director ever say like, "Nah, cut that move. We don't. That doesn't work for the story." Adjust it. Maybe not cut it, but adjust it. And I'm happy to adjust it. And I think it's great to adjust things. You know, it keeps it. It keeps everything evolving. Awesome. Well, if people want to find out more about you or follow you, where should they go? Yeah, they go to my website. RobertJames.com. <laughs> yeah. uh, Robert Vale. Robert, what brings you to the World Choreography Awards tonight? Uh, I'm lucky enough to be nominated tonight. Tell the audience in what category and for what. Uh, commercial, and it's a uh, Sony and Whitney Houston Foundation. That's awesome. So, what was the genesis of the idea? Um, I had a really brilliant director come to me with a treatment and said, "I need a choreographer for this." And I just jumped on board, and it was a really organic, beautiful process. As a choreographer, what's the dance that you do when you're just in the kitchen alone, you know, just grooving, maybe eating something? Or like, you know. it, it's really got to depend on the song. I, I feel like whatever the music gives me, I can kind of drop into. But I would say anything with the violin and a piano, I can really vibe to. That's like that's my thing. Uh, I've asked other choreographers this: Do you start? From movement or from like your mind when you come up with the moves? I'm movement. I'm definitely, I, I'm a feeler. Um, visually, I'll have an idea, but I've got to feel it in my body and then I've got to see it on a dancer and then we work from there. Awesome. Well, listen, if people want to find out more about you or follow you online, where should they go? Uh, my Instagram is Vale Robert, V A I L Robert. Sam Dobbins. Sam Dobbins. So what brings you to the 13th Annual World Choreography Award, Sam? Well, originally it comes from my wife being a former dancer. And through through that whole connection, she's a ballet dancer in that whole world. And I'm part of that world because I'm married to my wife. Are you much of a dancer yourself, though? Um, with a little libations. It's like karaoke, a little liquid courage. But no, I'm not a dancer. No salsa, no tango classes. Uh, no lessons. I'm all. I'm 100% improvisational. Well, anything that you're working on coming up that you'd like to tell us about? Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna film uh, western. With westerns are coming back, taken from Rio Bravo, written by Craig Heyman, directed by Joe Cornett, produced by Olive Nesky, and a whole bunch of great, amazing actors. It's about to be released this week, the next week. Sarah Silken. So Sarah, what brings you to the World Choreography Awards? I'm nominated for television. Congratulations. Uh, what category and for what? So I'm nominated for Love, Death and Robots, which is an Emmy Award winning uh, show. And I choreographed Hibaro, which is a short film that was part of the Love, Death and Robots franchise. Are there any actual robots involved? Not in mine. In mine, there is a a uh, killer siren and a deaf soldier, but uh, in other episodes there are a lot of robots. What style of dance would you say was closest to what they did in the show? So I was really lucky to be able to present contemporary choreography to television, and so um, the whole entire piece is completely void of any type of language except for movement. So through movement you're able to capture the intense emotions of the story, and in 15 minutes all through the style of contemporary dance. Well, that's incredible. I think you got a good shot tonight. Well, if people want to find out more about you or follow you, where should they go? Um, they can go on Instagram at, at Sarah Silken. So tell us your nominee tonight in what category? I'm nominated in the digital short category. And what did you do for that? Uh, I created a piece called Don't Go, which is like a 1980s jazz throwback, fabulous fun romp through a studio. It's really fun. Oh, I love that. That's great. And um, what other projects are you working on right now? Uh, I work with the digital film unit of Saturday Night Live, and I just did I'm Just Pete, which was viral, went viral last week. And uh, I work with a lot of the, the late night shows in New York City. Uh, I'm based out of New York City, and I'm bi-coastal that way. So, so we're having a little bit of a resurgence in, of dance in the digital film unit there, which is really, really nice. I love that. That's fantastic. So where can we find you on social media? Uh, I'm Real Shan Lu on Instagram and all other platforms. Thanks for talking to us. Have fun tonight.
Thank you so much. I'm set with Stephanie Sosa. Stephanie, so what brings you to the World Choreography Awards? I'm performing tonight um, for, the, for the Kenny Ortega tribute, so I'm super excited. And yeah, I'm here with my brother Ezra Sosa as well. I just talked to him, he's very cool. Yeah, we're like 14 months apart. So. Now, are you guys dancing in the same section of the tribute or are you separate? Actually, we're not. I'm in the Disney section and he's in the other section, but yeah, usually we do partnering together, but this time we're just doing something different. Did you have to keep it secret from him what you were doing and vice versa? Um, kind of. We didn't even know we were both doing it. I came home from my apartment one time and I was just like, hey, I'm going to be doing the World of Choreography Awards. And he was like, actually, me too. And so, like, we had no idea we were both doing this together. So, it's going to be great. <laughs> uh, let me just ask, who's your favorite dancer? Oh, my God, that's hard. Um, I would say my favorite dancer of all time is Michael Jackson. He was phenomenal. Phenomenal. Good choice, good choice. Well, if people want to find out more about you or follow you, where should they go? Yes, um, at Sebi Chica on Instagram, and yeah. Have a good night. Good luck. Thank you.